declaration regarding the ongoing attacks of the Turkish state on the liberated area of Rojava. On Friday, the 22nd of July 2022, three of our female comrades, the Yat commander Jian Tolhildan, the YPG commander Roj Khabur, and the Yat member fighter Barim Botan were assassinated by a Turkish drone attack. This is only the peak of ongoing strategy that is spreading an atmosphere of terror and fear. Especially women are becoming repeatedly targets of those coward attempts. Within 48 hours, six of our comrades, among them four members of YPG, were killed and various others were injured by four drone attacks on territory of Rojava. These incidents are in line with 56 drone attacks that happened just in the year 2022 and caused the death of 27 people and injured of 74 more. Among the dead and wounded, there are our comrades, as well as civilians of every age and gender. While Turkey is officially threatening with a full-scale invasion on the liberated area of North and East Syria, they are continuing their attacks that actually never stop after the occupation of Afrin in 2018. What we are facing is so-called low-intensity warfare, a military strategy that uses a variety of different tactics, including extrajudicial killings, the support and using of proxy groups like SNA or and ISIS, economical pressure, cutting of water and electricity supply, demographic, demographic change and psychological warfare instead of full-scale military operation. This kind of warfare produces produce continuing attacks while keeping it under the level of full-scale war that would provoke bigger political and media attention in Western societies. The countless attacks attempts to normalize war and make the people to get used to those attacks. It creates a state of insecurity. Those attacks are not single cases, but part of, of a well-planned bigger strategy that aims to destroy the revolution and eradicate the Kurdish people. By using drone attacks, like the one that killed three of our comrades on Friday, it tries to spread the feeling that no one is safe and that the Turkish state has the absolute power to decide it when and where your life will end by just using a simple bottom that makes the bomb drop. The psychological effect of this strategy is effective in the way that it can make people want to leave their land. One of the aim of Erdogan, Erdogan is exactly this, to expel the Kurdish people from their land and settle foreign population lo loyal to the Turkish regime instead. Another tactic that the Turkish state is using is to carry out so-called false flag operation. In the recent attacks of the Turkish state on holiday resort in Zaho, in southern Kurdistan, northern Iraq, nine tourists got killed, among them a child and over 23 got injured. The Turkish state released a statement saying that the attack was done by PKK, with, ac with, with accusing others for being guilty of its own attacks, the Turkish state is creating a reason to legitimate its military presence and actions. The military approach is not just limited on the attack on Rojava. Moreover, the Turkish state is using the various methods of low intensity warfare against all liberated areas of Kurdistan, including Shengal, Mahmur and the guerrilla control areas in the mountains of North and East South Kurdistan. Beside the majority of the worldwide media that is ignoring the ongoing attacks, we observe that also the solidarity movement with Rojava is mostly waiting for a so-called Day X to start a bigot campaign against a fascist regime that actually never stopped its war on Rojava. We consider this as an insufficient approach that is going along with the situation we are facing here. The answer of the ongoing various and brutal attacks on the revolution has to be permanent, creative and effective resistance. There is no point of waiting. We are in a war right now. While we are writing this statement, we are moved by deep anger and rage that the last attacks caused. With the last attack, three friends were torn from our midst. You were our comrades, our teachers, our sisters, our pioneers, our vanguard, our friends and comrades. 
You were helping so many of us to find their place in this revolution, to develop and grow and to get to know the reality of female strength and willpower. You were teaching us to use our love as well as our own pay to find, fight for our future. Knowing that the Turkish state is aiming to destroy our spirit, we encounter this by converting the anger and grief into even higher commitment to continue the struggle against the murderous regime. We are higher motivated than ever to develop and spread the women's revolution and in this way continue the struggle of our beloved fallen comrades. To our friends around the world, we ask you to stand up and defend with us the women's revolution. We need to uncover the dirty plan of the Turkish state and threat its attack as it is. A war against revolutionary project that especially targets revolutionary women. One of the most urgent demands is a no-fly zone to stop the deadly air attacks on our comrades and people. Beside that, we have to understand that this is war is not only about Turkish invasion plans, but includes a lot of multiple interests of the Western states and the NATO in the Middle East. The struggle in Kurdistan is always connected to the struggle in our homelands. To build up a strong and resistant self-defense, we have to attack the gory system of nation state, patriarchy and capitalism anytime and anywhere. Ape Yusuf Gulo, Mohammed and Ahmed, Heval Geli, Heval Ahmed, Heval Mezgin, Heval Dilar, Heval Ronahi and Heval Kobane, Heval Berkhwedan and Heval Kendal, Heval Jian, Heval Rosh and Heval Barin. We promise you that we will not just defend this beautiful revolution by any means necessary, but that we will spread it and make it even more grow. We will do everything to make your ideas of freedom to come true. To the Turkish states and its allies, we want to let them know that we will not let these attacks unanswered. We will make you pay for your crimes and avenge our comrades. YPG YPG International, Rojava, 26th of July, 2022. No fly zone for Rojava. Stopp die türkischen Kriegsverbrechen, schließt den Luftraum über Rojava. Jestem za ustanowieniem zdemilitaryzowanej strefy powietrznej nad Rojavą. Limits there if we kush Achilter the Rojava. Paren los crimenes de guerra del Estado turco. Badlo min el alam, nihaya, el intikahat, el jarimat, adolo Turkia, el shimal o shark Suria. Postavme se za zavření vojenské letecké zóny nad Rojavou.